Good morning, everyone. How are you? I'm happy to be here. Today is Friday, February 9. Good morning, Sue. How are you this morning? Sue says, I'm good, thank you. And you? I'm doing pretty well. I've got my top on. I'm not sure if I'm going to make sleeves on it yet. So. Sue says, woohoo. Yeah, I think I need some more tank tops to go under these. Tina says, good morning, God. Good morning. And good morning, Michelle. Good morning, Tina. How are you this morning? She says, good morning, Sue. Sue says, I just watched the follow me video. What did you think? Do you like that I read these? Good morning, Mumsy. How are you this morning? She says, good morning, Miss Michelle, Sue, and Tina. Tina says, good morning, Mumsy. This is the top that I made. You know that pretty yarn I was showing you yesterday? I was thinking about making a top with it because I know I have enough for long sleeves in that color. Sue says, yes, and I think it was uplifting. Awesome. I'm wondering if I'm going to get more uh, viewers based on my putting out more content, more videos like that. Sue says, good morning, Mumsy. And I'm glad you liked it, Sue. Mumsy says, I'm cozy in bed and don't want to get out anytime soon. Slept a bit better last night again. Great. But going to stay in bed a while after my too big of a day yesterday. So I'm enjoying my cozy bed. And you? Obviously, I'm up. I showered. And I have Pilates today, this afternoon. Good, good morning, Kathy. <coughs> Excuse me. How are you this morning, Kathy? Sue says, good morning, Kathy. Did you sleep well, Kathy? How has it been since you had the shot in your back? Have, has it helped? Tina says, good morning, Kathy. And Mumsy says, how are you? I see your beautiful top. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
Mumsy, I had it done uh, two or three days ago. Up to this point, I had the ends worked in. I got a kind of a, an edging here that's kind of frilly or bumpy edging. Good morning, Kathleen. How are you? But I didn't make sleeves yet. Kathy says, okay, just woke up a bit. All right, you're a bit better. Good. Kathleen says, good morning, everyone. Good morning, Kathleen. How are you? Sue says, good morning, Kat. And Tina says, good morning, Kathleen. How is everyone doing this morning? So, yes, this is the top that uh, from Crafty Yarn Owl, her tutorial. I put a black T-shirt underneath. I don't like the spaghetti strips, but I like these because I need a bra and I want to hide the straps of my bra. Sue says, my knee still hurts. I will need to wrap it again. Hope you're feeling better, Sue. Sorry to hear about your knee. <clears throat> Sue, do you do physical therapy? I think you do, but I'm not sure. Okay, yes. Exercise might help. You know, therapy, they work the major muscles, but they don't work the smaller muscles. Pilates works the smaller muscles and the big muscles. Just a thought, you might look into it. I know Timmy's been having problems with her legs and her feet. And I think Pilates would benefit her too greatly. But all right, here we go. Here's our devotional for today, February 9. Seek my face more and more. All right, Sue, good deal. I love a tool called a geisha. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Kathy says, good morning, Casey. She heard you. Morning. He says good morning to everyone. He's not going to say good morning to each individual. Okay. Seek my face more and more. You are really just beginning your journey of intimacy with me. It is not an easy road, but it is a delightful and privileged way. A treasure hunt. I am the treasure. Good morning, Sarah. How are you? Good morning, Timmy.
a treasure hunt. I am the treasure and the glory of my presence glistens and shimmers along the way. Hardships are part of the journey too. I meet them out ever so carefully in just the right dosage. With a tenderness you can hardly imagine. Do not recoil from afflictions since they are among my most favored gifts. Trust me and don't be afraid, for I am your strength and song. All right. Good morning, Sarah. How are you this morning? How are you, Timmy? Sarah says, and Kathy, what in the world is a geisha used for? Or geisha? I don't know how to pronounce it. And Mumsy's saying good morning to everybody. So this verse, God is the treasure we're looking for along life's paths. Good morning, Don. How are you? Your top is cute. Thank you. <clears throat> Mumsy says, hi, Don. Good morning, Don. Says Sue. Timmy says, I'm okay. I was watching another video that is disturbing. I don't like disturbing stuff. Sarah says, hello to Don. And what is it, Kathy? What is a gouache? Okay, everybody's saying good morning. Kathy said, be right back. Here are the verses. I looked one of these up in the Amplified Bible. for So we can... Oh, it was about women pastors. All right. Here are the verses. When you said, seek my face, my heart said to you, your face, Lord, I will seek. That is Psalm chapter 27, verse 8 in the New King James Version. <clears throat> Here's another one. But we have this treasure in jars of clay to show that this all-surpassing power is from God and not from us. We are hard-pressed on every side, but not crushed, perplexed, but not in despair. That is 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 7 and 8. I am going to read it in the Amplified Version right now. This 2 Corinthians 4, 7, and 8. But we have this precious treasures, which is the good news about salvation, in unworthy earthen vessels, which is the human frailty, so that the grander and surpassing greatness of the power will be shown to be from God and not from ourselves. We are pressured in every way we're hedged in, but not driven to despair, hunted down and persecuted, but not deserted to stand alone. 
struck down but never destroyed. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Jason, good morning. Greetings, he says. God bless you and good such sadness to you on Sunday, keeping if I greetings from Wisconsin, God bless you. And they were supposed to have 52 degrees out. Wow. Awesome. Good morning. And Kathleen says good morning. And everybody's saying good morning. I'm going to read the next verse now. Surely God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. The Lord, the Lord, is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. That is Isaiah chapter 12, verse 2. I'm going to look that one up in the Amplified Bible. Isaiah 12, 2. It says, Behold, God, my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid, for the Lord God is my strength and song. Yes, he has become my salvation. Wonderful. Jason says, good morning. I think of women pastors. I think of Joyce Myers, who's been around 35 years. Ever hear Joyce Myers? He's not many, got many publications out there. Yep. I've got some of her stuff, Jason. Thank you for being here. Heavenly Father, I thank you for all that are here this morning. I lift them all up to you, Heavenly Father. I ask you to be with each and every one of them. Help them to search for you as for hidden treasure. Because that's what you are, Heavenly Father. You are the treasure we are to seek. Thank you, Lord, for being the treasure in us. And hopefully others can see the treasure that's in us and know that it is not from us. It is from you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord. I lift up some of our our friends who need protection, Lord. I pray for Madeline in Sweden. God, keep her safe. Heavenly Father, I pray you surround her with Christians. Heavenly Father. Because when you have two Christians together, they can sharpen one another. They can keep each other on track. Thank you, Lord. I pray for Tofu CFB and Stephanie. I pray for all of us who are hurting, Heavenly Father, on a daily basis. I pray for that you continue to heal us physically, mentally, spiritually, and emotionally, Heavenly Father. Be with Kathy, Heavenly Father, and help her body heal. 
help Sue's body, help Timmy's body, help Tina's body, my body, Casey's body. Help us to not hurt. In Jesus' name. Jason says, I got a prayer request for today. I see on YouTube a lot of young women who are crocheters. They use dirty language. And I have to turn it off. Yeah. Yeah, we don't use dirty language if you're on YouTube. No. On occasion, a word may slip, but on a regular basis, no. If you see that, Jason, I would unsubscribe from them at the minimum. Or you can report them if it's too aggressive. I lift up all who are have uh, debilitating illnesses <clears throat> like fibromyalgia, depression, uh, chronic fatigue syndrome, bipolar, medic mental disorder, illnesses, uh, physical illnesses. Lord God. Okay. Lord, I lift up Racine and Tom to you, Heavenly Father. I pray that they can uh, be, let your light shine through them, Heavenly Father. Help Racine in her job, Heavenly Father. The people she works with don't like her. And they have pretty much demeaned her right in front of her face. So I lift Racine up to you, Heavenly Father and Tom. Any updates? I care of you when I got to go clean at a. Any plans for this week, Michelle? My plans? I'm planning on crocheting, um, getting a couple jobs next week. Um, Pilates. We don't have a plans, real plans this weekend, so. Sue says that is terrible. Yes, it is, Sue. So we need to lift racing up in prayer. I 
I pray for all who have lost their way in disbelief, and I pray that they reconnect with you, Heavenly Father. Help us to shine your light into this world. Let your light shine through us, these earthen vessels so that others will ask us what is the hope that it that we have and we can tell them it's you heavenly father i lift up all who have cancer heavenly father lane patty thrist diana stark kate gammy joe's stepmom my friend doris pj's friend janet Asia Joe's friend, Pink's Mama Rose, James Cantonese, Tina's father-in-law, Chuck, Kim's husband, Kevin, Sylvia, Cindy, Ken, David, and Taz's father, John. I pray you remove the cancer cells from their body, Heavenly Father. May it never return, and may all who are healed give you the glory. My cousin Mark goes in there too. Yeah, when she got on the phone and asked us to pray for her, that's what was going on, Sue. She went to the restroom to... Uh, dry her tears and to compose herself after getting demeaned and yelled at like that. So then she was able to get back into work and um, she knew that she had our prayers backing her up. to help support her. So when somebody asks you to pray for them, you do it right away. Jason says, my thoughts will be with Racine as I go to church Saturday night. But that is very sad. They said if you're up, Jesus would be persecuted to in the last days blessings to her family and to dozer she so says oh she is so sorry i can't read that so sweet i know right So I pray for all people who have been hurt by people's careless and hurtful words and actions. I pray, Lord, may they feel your love and know that they are wonderful just as they are. And when we feel a nudge to pray or if someone asks us to pray for them, we need to right then and there. And that's an important lesson for not only for me. I mean, to me, that was holy cow. You know, she asked us to pray. We need to pray right then and there. She wasn't going into detail then because she didn't have time. She was at work. Good morning, Debbie. How are you this morning? We're talking about when people ask us to pray, Debbie. We pray for them right then and there. Because they need that from the Lord. They need God's strength. 
the prayer warriors standing with them. Everybody saying good morning to Debbie. Lord, I lift up all those who are struggling with addictions, Heavenly Father. <clears throat> I ask you to remove the desire for substances and replace it with the desire to grow closer to you, Heavenly Father. I pray they do a 180 and turn back towards you, Heavenly Father. I pray for all who are fighting colds, flu, and COVID. Heavenly Father, I ask you, Lord, to strengthen their immune systems and keep them healthy. I pray for all caregivers and all suffering from mental illness, Heavenly Father. Keep the, them safe, Heavenly Father. And I lift up all those with unspoken prayer requests. There are so many who have unspoken prayer requests, Lord. So I'm just saying a blanket unspoken be with all those. Okay, Kathy has a big unspoken prayer just now. Okay. Lord God. Everybody's got unspoken prayer requests. Lord, and you know who they are, what they are. And I ask you to provide the answers. And I thank you for the answers you're providing. Lord God. Be with Tank, Heavenly Father. Help her foot to heal. She is on medication, which is preventing her foot that was broken. It's preventing it from healing. And Lord, I don't understand it. I don't understand how these medications that are supposed to help us can hurt us. Lord God, I pray for a personal saving relationship with you for everybody in the world, Heavenly Father. Everybody's praying for Kathy. Yes. We lift her up to you, Heavenly Father. We lift Racine. We lift all of us up to you, Heavenly Father, because we've all got unspoken prayer requests. But be with Kathy, Lord. I ask you, Lord, to keep all marriages strong. Husbands and wives to love and respect one another. Treat each other as they would want to be treated. I pray for all in the military that they are protected from all demonic activities. They are protected physically as well as spiritually, mentally, and emotionally. Heavenly Father, protect them, be with them, Lord. I pray for an end to terror, terrorist groups. I have a hard time with that word, terrorist groups. I pray they all turn to you, Heavenly Father. Be with Nana Kathleen's family, Heavenly Father. Be with Sarah Mahoney's family. Be with Janice Erfer's daughter.
be with my daughter and the, her unborn baby. Lord God. <clears throat> remove tumors, remove cancer cells from people's bodies, tumors from people's bodies, bulging discs, remove them, Lord. Help heal people's bodies, Lord God. I ask it in Jesus' name. <clears throat> I lift up faith to you with her prayers for family and health. I lift up Cricket's family, Tina's family, Heavenly Father. I lift up Esther and her family. Cinnamon stitches. Ron and Suzanne of the Gospel Truth. Cynthia and Todd of Cynthia's Joyful Creations. Hi, Sadie. How are you? I lift up Doritha's daughter and her mother, Heavenly Father. You know what's going on there. I pray for family relationships, Heavenly Father. Husbands, wives, sons, and daughters, I pray they all get along. They all have a good open relationship, good communication. I pray for Brandon, the one-year-old with a brain tumor, and Mary's friend Terry with a brain tumor. Heal them, Heavenly Father. Heal Kathy's mother-in-law, Heavenly Father. Remove that aneurysm. I pray for the Biden administration, the United States and the world, and Canada, Heavenly Father. I lift them up to you. I pray for your spirit to reach down into all our leaders, Heavenly Father. In Washington, D.C., and in all the states, I ask you, Lord, to be with all of them, Heavenly Father. Touch their hearts. Let them know that, let them rule our country the way you would want them to rule our country and our world. Heavenly Father, I ask it in Jesus' name. I've got Kelsey and Emma. I've just got names. No, don't have anything else. Don't know what's going on. Uh, Doritha's mother, daughter, Kathleen's has an unspoken for her family. Uh, Tina's daughter, Erin, has family issues. Lord, I lift them all up to you, Heavenly Father. I pray for my son. Lord, help Kathy with whatever she needs, you know. I ask it in all in Jesus' name. We've been praying, Kathy. <clears throat> 
Don says, praying for you, Kathy. Heavenly Father, be with Kathy, be with Dawn, be with Sarah, be with Tina, be with Sadie, be with Sue, Lord, be with Jason. Lord, I don't know what's going on what their needs are, but you do, Lord. Please be with them. Be with Mumsy, Lord. Mumsy says, we are praying for you, Kathy, and all these other requests. Please, Jesus, touch each situation the way only you can. You know and you care. I place each one in your hands. Give what is needed. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Mumsy. Tina says, trust your Lord, Kathy. Reach out to him. Yes. For all of the time only gets worse. Kathy, no worries. We're going to pray for you. Take care. God bless. Everyone, let's keep Kathy in our prayers. Thank you all. Bye.